Assalamu alaikum. Greetings of peace. You're watching Road to Zero Waste YouTube channel. When it comes to food wastage, one of the most overlooked elements is storage. Storing your food properly in the correct sections can increase the life of your food substantially. In this video, we'll go over some tips on how to increase the life of your food by storing it in the correct areas. There are many different types of fridges. Some have uh, freezers in the bottom, like this one, and some have at the top. Some have two doors, some fridges have one door, but they all could be divided into six equal uh, parts, and they serve different purposes and different functions. These upper shelves behind me are known as the ready-to-go area because of their inconsistent temperatures. The inconsistency of their temperatures causes food that's placed here to be spoiled quite easily. Therefore, it's recommended to place food such as leftovers and other things that you're going to eat in a few hours to a few days in this section. It's also recommended to place foods that don't need cooking or are pre-cooked, such as hummus, dips, and other things in that category to be placed in this area. As you all have guessed, this is our freezer compartment and all the frozen items are stored here. The leftovers, meat, or any even fruits can go inside the freezer, but make sure you label by date and eat the ones that are older so that you are more efficient and you don't waste food. Lower parts of the fridge have the coldest temperature, so it's ideal for storing milk or any raw meat. It could be poultry, it could be fish, or any type of raw meat. But make sure when you're placing your raw meat, you have the plate under the, under the meat so the bacteria from the meat doesn't contaminate the food around it. And also please make sure that you don't overpack your fridge so that the air circulation doesn't uh, create inconsistent cold and warm in the pockets in the fridge. These drawers behind me are known as crisper drawers. Every fridge has anywhere from two to four crisper drawers. It is advised for you to place all your fruits and vegetables in these drawers, but make sure they're separated. Why? Because fruits produce a chemical called ethylene, which cause all the produce around it to ripen at a faster rate. It's also advised for you to keep these areas moist maybe with a damp towel, uh, but remember not to keep them too moist because if you do, then the fruits and vegetables will rot at a faster rate. Door shelves are the warmest temperature areas of the fridge. That's why you better store your uh, fruit juices or condiments on the doors uh, because they won't spoil that easily. So now that we've covered all the items that go inside the fridge, the only items that are left are the ones that don't have to be placed in the fridge. These items are bananas, avocados, tomatoes, potatoes, and eggs. These items can be left outside the fridge, maybe in a shelf or anywhere else around the kitchen. So those are all the tips we have for you today. Remember to use these tips to help you reduce food waste. And remember to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.